vlog a day. 724. Monday, Tuesday, I can't remember what day it is today. Bonjour. C'est jeudi aujourd'hui ou lundi? Mardi? Mardi. Mardi, okay, bon. Right, merci. Okay, so today is Tuesday, and I asked if it was Thursday, because I haven't slept in a while. Anyways, I figured that today would be a good day to go see some coffee shops. As you can tell, I need it. We're gonna go to five great coffee shops here in Paris, five of the best coffee shops here in Paris. I haven't actually decided which ones to do yet. I think we're gonna do it the same way that I did the croissants. I'm gonna show you ones that I know, but spread around the city so that kind of no matter where you are in Paris, you should be able to find good coffee. How does that sound? It sounds great to me. I'm gonna meet Laura at KB Coffee, where we can also hopefully get like a scone or something, and then uh, we'll go from there. Then I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> I wish, I'm kidding. We're just gonna load ourselves up with caffeine. First coffee of the day, we'll see how this goes. You good? It's approved. KB Coffee basically needs no introduction, but they, these guys are one of the old school coffee shops in Paris. Lots of space, lots of tables, especially outside. When they even open the windows inside, just to make it a one big terrace, basically. When uh, it's summer, you have a view of Sacre Coeur off to the side, and then the coffee and the food are both really good. Construction noises aren't normally here, so hopefully they're not here when you're here. KB Coffee. Definitely a favorite. Kapushan might kill me for sharing this too publicly, but there's that one. We're gonna go straight south from here uh, into the first arrondissement to Honor, which is a really fun little outdoor spot. You'll see here in a second, it's great. I got the filter, which was really, really, was really good actually. How is your latte? That's good. Yeah, happy yeah. with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Okay, she just lived in Melbourne for the last six years, so she's our ultimate coffee judge right now. I'm just telling you how I feel on my own. Anyways, off to Honor. Honor is also one of the older coffee shops as far as I recall. Met their owner once, very nice guy, Australian. He also owns Neighbors, which is where we went the other day uh, when we were doing the five best croissants, which you can check out here if you want to five, five amazing croissants here in Paris. Not all of them are the best croissants in Paris. Don't, don't, don't let the title fool you. But we're gonna go check this out. Now also, the way that I'm choosing uh, my coffee shops today that Laura and I are going to, I'm trying to spread it out. I'm not trying to go to, like a lot of the really good ones are all really close to each other. So I'm just picking some that I don't go to very often in the vlog that otherwise you wouldn't find that are really good and that are hopefully close to you if you're here in Paris. Whether you live here or you're just staying here for a short little while. So that's how it is. They're not really the best. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna claim to know that that's too much. really liked it. I didn't get a coffee here because I'll get one at the next place, otherwise we'll both be buzzing. The cookie is really good. Their cookies are really good. Actually, between Neighbors and Honor, delicious. So, yeah, it's a fun spot. If you're into the shopping as well, for the souls we were talking about yesterday, this is very high end. This is like Concord's near here, Madeleine, Place Vendôme, all those things are right around here. So if you're shopping in this area, Honor is the spot to get coffee. We're gonna hop on the metro and go to the next spot, Blue Olive.
enough for juice because I, I can only have so much coffee. This place is actually not too far from the Eiffel Tower or Les Invalides, so if you're in between one of those two, it's great. The food is very tasty. This is not a bad spot for lunch, and the coffee is really good. Just taking a quick coffee break because I can only handle so much, you know, in one day. Whew. Mardi. Just asked the same question actually this morning, uh, but incorrectly. So anyways, aside from my bad French, we just, the juice was tasty. It's a good spot. Definitely check these guys out. There's a lot of coffee new here. All this coffee is marked on my Mapster if you're a patron, a $10 nut patron, so you can come snack this, but it's good. We're gonna go to our, we've got two more spots. Strata on the left bank to start. This is a bonus on the croissant video, but it's a really nice, it's a really nice cafe. Not every specialty place actually does pour over. A lot of them just do straight filter, but these guys have V60 and French press and AeroPress, which is really nice. So, ça va? Uh, yeah, anyways, I figured I was, I it saw they had V60. I'm getting a Colombian V60, which is really nice. Just one cup, should be good. And then, I think this one's gonna leave me. I'm gonna show you one more place, and then I'm gonna get lunch, because I have to go film Jean Eve this afternoon, as well as have an, I have a call. It, there's a lot of stuff going on. We'll be Alrighty, I got one more coffee shop to do today. La Fontaine de Belleville. It is another one of the old school ones. They provide a lot of coffee to this city. Very well worth seeing, it's really classy. But first I gotta go film Jean-Yves. I'm gonna have lunch first, and then we'll go do that. I will uh, leave some of that in there because I'm sure that those of you watching have no problem seeing some beautiful people exercising. But most of the footage that I took just there is gonna go into a video that I'm making with John Eve for himself, for his own website. Now, I only have a little bit of time left. I still wanna get to Fontaine, so we're gonna jump on line seven, pop up to Fontaine. I'll show you guys, it's a really fun spot, really nice, some tasty food, but they're also one of the like old school coffee roasters here in Paris, and uh, so you gotta go to the source, right? Get it? Fontaine de Belle. Anyways, we're gonna go. Oh, it's delicious as always. Obviously a really fun, like old-timey location. It's really good. I really do enjoy Belleville. So that was a lot of coffee. I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing. I hope that that was helpful today. I, all those locations are linked below. You can find them on Google Maps below in the description. So make sure to check them out while you're here in Paris. I will, of course, hit up more coffee shops as time goes on and share this with you. And if you want to cheat and get ahead and see a lot more coffee shops really quickly, just jump on Mapster. If you're one of my patrons, $10 and up would be great. And please don't be offended if you're not a patron and I don't accept your friend request because it's just the way this works. I gotta go get on a phone call now and then I'm hoping that I can catch at least a little bit of the match tonight. World Cup semifinals. Looking forward to seeing how that goes. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I'll see Brighton early tomorrow for, you know, more of this nonsense. Be sure to watch a video like maybe the five best croissants if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll be following that up with the five best pan au chocolat in Paris in like two days. See you tomorrow.